Listen, if it's one thing that I'm pretty sure we're all aware of is that life is out here moving fast, okay? It's a lot going on. We got society telling us what we should be doing, we should be, all while we're still trying to figure ourselves out. But you know what we can do? We can be mindful of where we are in this present moment and take small steps towards becoming better by the day and towards reaching our God-given purpose. So let's figure it out and work through it together. Welcome to Mindful Moments, y'all, a space where we talk it out, laugh it out, cry it out, hash it out. Listen, just get it, get it all out, okay? This is a safe space for you where we talk about the ups, the downs, even the in-betweens, a place where we go through it so we can grow through it. Tune in every week as we fill our minds with who we're destined to be with positivity, with awareness, and honestly, just with love. So I encourage you, let's be mindful of today in hopes for, yes, a better you, but also in hopes for a better tomorrow. Again, welcome to Mindful Moments. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mindful Moments. I'm your host, Jada Lowe, and how's everybody's week been going? You guys living good, feeling good, living better? Let's get into it, okay? So we're going to title this episode, Set a Reminder. How Y'all got reminder set for the week? I got alarm set, reminder set, to-do list set, everything is set. So, um, by set a reminder, what do I mean? (sighs) This has been a recurring motif for your girl. Um, I've been in a season of knowing that God is bringing in more. Um, I'm being mindful of the things that I want and how I want more. But in the process of that, I forgot or not forgot. It just wasn't as at the top of my list of things to be mindful of and aware of as me asking God for things. But I was like, Jada, think about all the things he's already done. So I want to encourage y'all this week, today, every day to set a reminder to just reflect on how far God has brought you, what he's brought you out of, what he's delivered you from. And Don't think that just because it's already been done and just because he's already done it for you, that that negates the fact that he doesn't still deserve praise and gratitude for that. And we get so caught up in praying for what's to come to where we don't stop to remind ourselves how far we've come and how far he's carried us. Um, I say it every day to myself and even when I'm praying, like, bro, I'm nothing without God. Like sometimes even when I think back to the times of where I tried to handle life by myself, she was a hot mess, hot, hot mess, hot. When somebody breath stank, that hot. When somebody talk to you and you get a little whiff, that hot. A hot mess and just remembering what he's done and just always been in a heart posture of gratefulness and just gratitude. I think that also shows God that we can be trusted with more because if we if we're in a constant heart posture in a constant state of thank you God I appreciate it. Um yes, while well, still wanting more, but when that more does come, God knows that he will get a praise out of you, which is very important. Um so for me personally, I just with content, podcasting, all of that Um, I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for y'all, everybody that's listening. I'm grateful for everybody that hit the subscribe button, that hit the follow button, that liked the TikTok or YouTube video, whatever the case may be. But I had to realize me getting to this point, it wasn't, it wasn't always, it just wasn't always like this, y'all. There was a point where there were so many things that I wanted to do, but my personal belief in myself held me back and so I had to pray like God help me to see me the way you see me that's something that he's helped me with to be able to get to this point yes there are things and skills that I'm still working on but as far as me getting to this point of sitting in front of this camera in front of this microphone talking to y'all that's not 
<laughs> that's not just me alone. This is not in just my power alone. And I'm just grateful to be able to sit here because I know that there was a time where I was honestly scared to do it. And it's not in my strength that I'm able to sit here and speak to y'all and be able to encourage y'all. I'm literally legitimately telling y'all what God has told me that that's my fuel. That's how I help people. And, um, it just kind of hit me to just be like, just thank calm down, breathe. Yes, I know you want more, but let's, let's thank God for what he's brought us from the ways of thinking, um, the habits and just like ways, the ways that I was personally operating in order to get to where I am now. And one thing that I believe is important is for us to understand the importance of why being grateful is so important. Um, God deserves every bit, every ounce, every dash, every teensy, teensy bit of praise for, for it all. Um, and I think we learn how to appreciate God to, at a different level when we realize that he wants what's best for us. Um, when, even when we may go against what he says, or even when we're just being foolish and may make a mistake, he wants the best for us at the end of the day. And when you realize, just think about your regular relationships. And um, with all due respect, we are human, we fail, we disappoint the people in our lives. So think about that from that standpoint of even your parents or your friends um, and family wanted what's best for you, but still we're all human. So they may disappoint you at times, even though they want what's best for you. But then think about your relationship with God and how he wants what's best for you, but he never fails. He never changes. And he stands on every single thing that he says and every single thing that he says on top of that is good. So imagine having a God in your corner, the God in your corner like that. And um, just just comparing those two aspects helps has helped me personally to just have a deeper appreciation for for God himself and who he is for me. Um, So what does reflection look like? Reflection looks like self-analysis and seeing where I was, where I am now, where I want to be. It looks like gratitude. I know some of us may have not had the best past. Um, Some of us may have had things in the past that we're proud of that we're not proud of, but all of that is a part of reflection, right? So um, reflection, and when you realize that you're in a moment that's different from where you were, be grateful for that. Even if you're not where you want to be, just be, be grateful for that moment. The past served its purpose. And the fact that you even have the ability to be able to reflect is a blessing in itself, is a blessing in itself, appreciation. And I think sometimes when we hear gratitude and appreciation, we can kind of hear them in tandem with one another. They actually mean two completely different things. So gratitude is the state of being grateful, of course, and appreciation is recognizing the value and meaning of something. So be grateful for where you've how far God has brought you right um showing gratitude but also that appreciation I guess in layman's term would be a deeper sense of how grateful you are by understanding the value of what that point in your life or season in your life served right so just being grateful and appreciative of everything that's happened the good and the bad and how it's all just worked together for your good And I say that because I feel like, again, for me personally, but I also feel this case for a lot of people. I just feel like 2023 is a different type of vibe. Like, I feel like the people around me um, and just like things I've seen, I just feel like we're on a different type of time in a good way. I feel like we're in a state of anticipation, like wanting better and everything finally clicking. Um, and not to beat a dead horse, but we've kind of come out of just coming out of COVID, um, just coming out of a lot of things that required big shifts, right? 
I feel like now we finally settled back into what it is that we truly want and have had the time to analyze and process all of that. And it's important to remind ourselves of what that time was, how different that time was, um, how pivotal that time was, and honestly, how much of a shock that time was in a sense of adjusting and adapting. And I just I just felt the need to remind us to set a reminder uh, and give ourselves credit and to give God credit, bro, for how just just bringing us out again of the hot mess that has been life for so long. And even if you're still in a hot mess, if you're in a little lukewarm mess, if you're in a, uh, what you got, hot, lukewarm, cold, if you're in a, a cold mess, hypothermia, um, frostbite, 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 <laughs> frostbite. No matter what kind of mess you're in, we've all come out of something. And I just feel like a, a shift of, People finally, even though we don't all, we even though, slow down, Jada. Even though we don't have it all figured out, I feel like we're getting a better understanding of what we want out of life, the things that we want to explore and look at and hone in on. But I just encourage you to set a reminder to give yourself some credit again and give God credit. Like, God, thank you for helping me to get out of this situation. Thank you for helping me to get out of this season that I've been in. And then give yourself some credit too. Like you knew what you knew how to do in that moment. You did what you thought was best for you at that moment. Even if you look back and you realize you didn't really handle it too well, there's a lot of things, a lot of things that I wish I would have done differently. But I can't make an excuse for it. Even if I knew that it was wrong in that moment, I still have to kind of say, you kind of only knew what you knew in that moment to help you to, to survive in that moment. So give yourself some credit for being able to just make it through that moment. And thank, I'm gonna say this, every single chance I get, if you don't do nothing else, just thank God for how far you have come. Especially my people out there, if y'all in college, it's spring semester for y'all, so I know y'all going through it. Um, and just people out there, especially in their um, 20s, too, um, it's, ooh, it, it get a little ghetto out here. <laughs> but I, you have to to give yourself credit even for the things that you realize didn't work. My mama um, told me this one thing, too, that I, that I will always take with me. Sometimes you realize what you do want by first encountering the things that you realize that you don't want. And so give yourself credit for making it through and realizing the things that work, the things that didn't work, and even just what you realize just wasn't for you. It's, it's a part of life. And just just remember these things. Have a heart posture of gratitude. That is the main thing that I want y'all to take away just from, from today and from this episode. Have a heart posture of gratitude. Gratitude makes life easier it makes life bearable even when you can't really see it in that moment and it just shines God's light even if you're in a dark moment um, because you're able to experience that dark moment and so that's a blessing in itself when you think about it Um, always remain grateful and express that love and kindness to God and gratitude helps us to see God's track record Um, when you get caught up in where I want to be and all the mistakes I've made, breathe and be like, God, thank you. (laughs) If you, if you did, you hear people say it all the time. You hear Christians say it all the time. If he did it before he can do it again. But when you serve a God that doesn't change, that is, that is just a fact. If he did it before (laughs) he can, he can, and he will do it again. Rest in that as you pray for more, as you're, in a a heart posture of anticipation and expectation just know that God's track record speaks for it speaks for itself and if it's one thing that God will always do is prove himself right but in the midst of that I just want to encourage you all to just be grateful and out of all the reminders that we set into in today uh and the alarms get up reminder to go to the gym reminder to turn your paper in reminder 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 remind yourself to be grateful and to think about how far God has brought you and I'm gonna tell y'all again I love you you are capable I'm grateful for you I'm grateful for everybody that's watching and listening and give yourself credit and give God credit 
because you'd be a hot mess without them. I love you, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mindful Moments. I want y'all to remember this. Take it one step at a time. Know that you're capable. Know that you're worth it. Be intentional and know that everything you need to accomplish the things you want is already inside of you. But look, y'all, the podcast doesn't end here, okay? Be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at O underscore Jada. That's O with three H's underscore J-A-D-A. You can see the visuals from past episodes and segments and maybe even some teasers for upcoming episodes. And be sure to follow and like Mindful Moments on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, and even Google Podcasts. And as you go through your day, remember to be mindful of today in hopes for a better tomorrow. I'll see you in the next episode.